and we are live. Well, we are not technically live because this is a recording, we are not on Twitch or anything. But um, this is a video where I want to talk a little bit about the end of the tunnel, so the single I published last week. Um, just one thing, uh, this is not gonna be um, a video with many cuts. Um, I want it to be not fast-paced and like um, there is a trend on YouTube to to be very dynamic and all, but I just want to to not cut the video and to just talk and because I'm not a fast-paced person, so okay, let's dive into it. So um, the end of the tunnel it, um, is the name of uh, a single, but it's also the name of an EP. Uh, that will be out, I don't really know when, and you will know why. So, um, I've taken some notes, so I'm gonna check them out. Um, I wanted to do something, even if it's not perfect, I wrote down. So, um, the idea would be I, the idea behind this EP was to, to just create something. Like, for years, I've made, like, um, I don't know what to call that in English. But um, like unfinished songs, and um, it really frustrated me um, because I wanted to, to publish something, but uh, I didn't. I didn't like what I did. Uh, I was. I was always like, it's not perfect. I, I can't publish that. It's not finished enough. It doesn't sound good enough, and all. And for this one, I figured I would just like do something like one finished. Thing, even if it's not perfect so it's a very short EP um, uh, I'd like to to publish like not maybe not a lot of EPs but several EPs um, with each time a lyrical theme so uh, I'll talk about the lyrical theme of this one uh, later uh, so yeah, um, it's very short, it's not even 10 minutes long, so technically it's not even an EP, some might call it a single, but it's a single with three tracks plus one intro. So is it an EP? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's um, it revolves around melody and feeling, there is no technicity in this EP. Uh, I programmed the drums because I wanted to do it all to do it all by myself, um, but I've programmed the drums um, thinking that I should be able to play the parts. Like, they are not very difficult, they are not very technical. Um, I guess an average metal drummer could play all the parts on uh, this EP. So yeah, that's not technical, that's... Um, yeah, that revolves more around feeling like the the what do you call that? The inspiration uh, between this EP would be more um, like bands uh, such as Insomnium, things like that. So um, yeah, what did I write? Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to have deadlines, so I booked the mastering because I didn't do everything on my own the mastering and the illustration of the cover art uh, weren't made by me. So, uh, I wanted to have deadlines, so I booked uh, the audio engineer um, to, to do the mastering and I wanted to be there to see how the mastering process goes, uh, to be able in the future to, to master my EPs by myself on my own. I don't know how to say it, but you, you've got the point. So. Uh, so I booked it uh, the mastering day before having finished recording. So I was like, um, maybe, yeah, maybe I ha I don't remember really exactly, but uh, I think I've booked the day maybe three weeks um, in advance. Do you say that? <laughs> I don't even know. It's not a problem. Like, if you if you're watching this video, you're not gonna judge me on my English. Like, you just want to to hear me talk about the EP and that's cool and don't judge me. Okay. So uh, three weeks uh, before um, before the mastering day, I knew when it was booked. So I 
finished everything and it, it was really um, like like really quick like um, I created the first Cubase project on the 3rd of November 2020 and the mastering day was on the 19th of December 2020 so like composing recording mixing and finally get getting to the mastering um, was a six or seven week long process so it was really really fast I wanted to get something out without it being perfect as I said earlier so okay what's next um, it's composed based on personal melody bank yes if you want to to know how I work when I compose songs I just come up with melodies like when I improvise on the guitar or when I when I have nothing to do and I, I'm just like um, singing melodies in my head and and I'm like oh this note would be better no they, this one note or oh, maybe this one I don't know and and when I'm done uh, composing a melody I just take my phone and uh, record with the voice like la 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 um, and I've got a, a bank like with hundreds of melodies and um, most of them won't ever be used in songs and that's a shame but uh, uh, yes uh, I work this way so uh, maybe you want to know what plugins I've used um, the the drums are programmed with Easy Drummer 2 on Cubase uh, for the bass it's Dark Glass Ultra plugin yeah plugin <laughs> okay so it's the Dark Glass Ultra plugin it matches my um, real life uh, amp head which is a Dark Glass 2 yes yeah, so I my bass is a Spectre an, a European Spectre so um, yeah and uh, the guitar was processed with Don't Forge Misha Mansour. Um, to talk about the guitar, uh, it's quite an interesting fact. Um, I, like I said, I didn't want to like wait for it to be perfect. So I, I used my beginner guitar uh, that I got when I was twelve, and it's a very cheap guitar. It's it it might like cost one hundred and fifty dollars something around these lines so it can't be tuned it's very frustrating like um, when you tune it on an open string the 12th fret is out of tune so some people have told me hey your guitar is slightly out of tune it it tickles my ear it's it's weird and I'm like yeah I know uh, I bought a new guitar um, so now now I have a like um, uh, yeah a more a less affordable guitar let's say uh, so it's gonna be like better um, in tune for the next EP I guess uh, if I record the guitars myself because I might um, do um, a more technical EP for the second one and um, maybe I'll ask a, a guitarist uh, to record the parts I don't know we'll, but I, I'll talk about the first EP first so what's next um, yeah the vocals were recorded with an SM7B so this one which I'm using right now to record this video uh, on a cloud lifter yes because um, for 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 those who like to geek about um, gear like when you use uh, SM7B without a preamp it's like it's not the same but I, I'm not gonna go into detail um, about that okay <clears throat> so uh, I've written that I didn't do the um, the cover art and mastering by myself so the illustration was made by Lea Kelbrix which is a friend of mine who is a friend of mine yes which doesn't work here okay so she is a friend of mine and the mastering was done by Michael Mayeux so he's um, an audio engineer from my hometown um, and he has already worked on uh, several 
EPs and even um, an LP, like, yeah, an album. It's not a vinyl. It's, uh, yeah, we call that a long play. It's like, it's, it's 40 minutes long, so it's uh, LP, okay. Um, of my band segment, which is my, um, my uh, main band, let's say. I've got several bands, but uh, this one uh, has been around for 13 years. So yeah, since I was 16 and I'm soon to be 29 years old. So okay. Um, so I've written that the first single is out, but there is no date for the rest of the EP because uh, there is a bug in the final mastering. Um, I don't know why, but the snare is panned a little bit right. And uh, it frustrates me a lot when I listen to it. And the bug wasn't uh, on the single uh, The End of the Tunnel, so I released this one. But the other songs uh, have this bug and I, I find it so frustrating. So I asked the audio engineer if he could fix that. And he told me I could fix that, but there is um, a curtain uh, currently, in, currently in France and he can't go to his studio so he can't fix the bug so yeah it's um i don't know what will when it will be out and uh but i'm already composing for the second ep because i don't want to waste time uh, just waiting uh it doesn't make sense okay so the lyrical theme is never don't give up <laughs> yeah i know um the lyrical theme is uh, actually uh, something very mo motivational, uh, something very um, like seeing the light um, when you have bad days. Uh, it's it's something along those lines. There are three th three songs, um, which uh, all three of them talk about uh, like getting out of depression, things like that. So very, um, the end of the tunnel, the, the name of the EP um, makes sense in that way. Um, so the first song of the EP, uh, well, the first true song, uh, when you, I'm not talking about the intro, but it would be interesting to talk about that. The intro is called Caustic Stillness uh, because it's an instrumental, it's uh, maybe 40 seconds long, something like that. And um, caustic stillness because uh, not moving forward uh, harms you. And uh, I've experienced this uh, when I couldn't get to publish anything for years because I was afraid it wouldn't be perfect and all that stuff. So caustic stillness begins the EP and then I talk about the end of the tunnel and uh, you get it. So, uh, the first song, the first true song is called Dreadnought. Uh, it's, it's inspired by the Warhammer uh, universe, but it doesn't talk about the Warhammer universe. Uh, the name is Dreadnought, so it's um, um, like um, a big shelled armor, something like that. I'm, I'm not a, a specialist of Warhammer, but it's... Um, it's a unit uh, that you can play in Warhammer and um, so uh, this song was inspired by that but uh, I didn't find that many things to say about this song so I'm gonna talk about the other ones so uh, the second song is called Eternal Summer and uh, it's a reference to several um, bands uh, that I like uh, the first reference is to the band Nightmare which is a French heavy metal band. Um, the song is called, is called Eternal Summer and they have a song called Eternal Winter. So um, when I talk about um, the, ly the lyrics of this one, you'll get why it's called Eternal Summer. Um, the second reference is to Lorna Shaw, which is a deathcore band that I really appreciate. and. Um, they they've got a song which is called Immortal, uh, where they like you can't get it if you don't hear the song. Um, in the song Immortal by Lorna Shaw, um, the rhythmic 
placement of um, the way he says uh, immortal uh, matches the way I say eternal in my song. So it's a direct reference to that. And this song talks about um, hospital. So um, I'm not going to go into detail because I guess like private life and all that stuff. But um, I've got a friend who's been to, who's been hospitalized. Do you say that? We say that in French. In French, I always mix up French and French. Okay. So uh, basically, he spent um, a whole summer and a little bit more uh, in the hospital, and uh, I made a song about that. And um, when it gets published, I'll I'll also publish the lyrics. So so you'll get to. To see what I'm talking about, uh, it's it's not a song to complain. It's just to celebrate the fact that finally, in the end, he lived, and uh, I'm still friends with him uh, now, and and I'm very grateful that uh, that um, he lived. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so the end of the tunnel, the final song on the EP, and uh, what do you call that again? Like when. Uh, Oh, I, I've lost the word. Eponymous, something like that. It's the eponymous uh, song of the EP. Uh, so it's a metaphor for just not giving up. Uh, it's based on um, a quote by Will, uh, Will, no, not William, Winston Churchill. Uh, the quote is, if you're walking through hell, keep walking. And um, it's um, the reference um, is present uh, when I talk about a tunnel like if you're in a tunnel like just keep walking and you will see the light it sounds dumb <laughs> when I say it like that but um, yeah I love quotes I actually collect um, some quotes that I really like on the internet and um, I've got a, a file where I write them down and um, so yeah, um, uh, I don't have any more notes, so I'm just going to say um, thank you for listening to my first song. And um, I've already got uh, 200 views on YouTube and um, 15 uh, listeners on Spotify. So it's really cool. And for those who release music, uh, on Wiseband, uh, the distributor uh, that I use, um, publishing music is free during the lockdown. Like uh, they've written on their on their website, as long as the as long as the concerts are cancelled, you can release music for free. So it's really cool. Like I released the single uh, that would have cost uh, that would have that would have cost me um, ten dollars or ten euros. I I don't remember exactly, but like it's. 10 euros for a song and then now it's free so it's cool okay and um, and yeah uh, I've got nothing more to say so maybe the video was a bit long I don't even know uh, the quality was bad <laughs> I can see myself on the second screen and um, and yeah the quality sucks but uh, yeah I guess we are done with this video thanks for watching thanks for tuning in I don't know how to say that. Thanks for listening and see you hopefully soon with a new song. Bye.